In this video, I'll talk about the different AVR memories. There is an example project linked in the description box, which showcases some of the topics I will cover. The first thing to know is that the AVR devices are based on a modified Harvard architecture. This means that the internal non-volatile flash memory is in a different address space than the internal SRAM, IO registers, and integrated EEPROM. From the user perspective, this is mostly transparent and handled by your compiler. But in the case where the user stores constant data in the flash, some special considerations are needed. Reading data from flash is straightforward by using the AVR libc helper functions. These are basically wrapper functions which call the load program memory instruction. This will work with all versions of GCC. When using later versions of GCC or the IAR compiler, you can create constant flash data just like any other constant data. Writing data to flash is slightly more complicated due to the paging of the flash memory but is also covered by helper functions in the AVR libc. The linked example project includes functions which can read and write from arbitrary places in the flash. It demonstrates how to position the code in the bootloader section using Atmel Studio, as well as erasing and writing pages. Flash writes are usually used by a bootloader, which updates the application code. It is not recommended to write to the flash too often, as it has a limited number of erase write cycles. If you have data that needs to be updated often, it's better to use the EEPROM, if this is available on your device. The EEPROM is more convenient, as it's byte addressable, and will handle more write cycles. The linked example project demonstrates reading and writing from an arbitrary address in EEPROM using the AVR libc functions. The SRAM and IO registers are mapped in the same address space, with the IO registers placed at, ad at address 0 and upwards. The first 32 registers are the AVR core registers, and the IO and extended IO registers belong to the peripherals.